temperature gets up to about 60 degrees throughout these races. So they're trying to cool down and prepare for another one. Let's take you all the way back to the start of this race where Wing Cup and Lowndes were on the front row of the grid. But the opening lap, disaster for Chaz Mostert, straight into the wall. Look at him down here at turn eight, 245 kilometres. Big lockup for the Wilson security entry of Scotty Pye. Scott McLaughlin comes into pit lane and when he comes back out again, almost, almost gets tangled up with one of the Jack Daniels Nissans as Craig Lowndes and then Fabian Coulthard. Pretty much everybody got caught up with the tyre bundle at turn one. A stop here for Lowndes and it didn't go right on the right-hand side. They got the right rear off, but they couldn't get the new one back on properly and that cost him dearly. At the same time, Jamie Wincup was doing qualifying style laps. That's why Wincup ended up in front at the end of the day. Jeremy Moore, Mark Dutton, David Couchy, the new team in charge at Red Bull Racing Australia as Tim Slade was having such a good day, but then everything started to fall apart on him for the Super Chief Auto Commodore. Michael Caruso and Nick Perkak contact, and then David uh, Dale Wood, rather, in car 21, comes in as an innocent bystander down at turn nine. The Coates High Racing team at Perkak trying to figure out what went wrong. Look at McLaughlin muscle his way past Todd Kelly, who returns the serve, but he got the position done. David Wall, that's a wild ride at turn 14 in car 17. And then Winkup and Lowndes kept going and going and going further away as Lowndes made a little mistake on the exit of turn seven. Check out Shane Van Gisbergen on the final turn of the final lap. Just lets it all hang loose as he starts the year with a podium finish, but Wink Cup starts the year pretty much how he ended it as the number one man.